And in this video, what I'm going to try and talk about is how to soar along a ridge where the wind is a bit crossed. Not too crossed, obviously, because that would be getting dangerous. The idea is that because of the ridge has got a number of spurs putting out, it's how to negotiate those spurs and avoid the areas of rotor and get into them and make the most use of the lift and safest progress along the ridge. The basic idea will be to, to get some height like these guys are doing here. And then once I've got enough height to then try and transition to clear. And you can see over there, there's a big spur sticking out. Big by our standards, our little hills. <laughs> so I've got to try and get round that. And gradually the hills go more and more into wind. So the, the bonus of it is I can try and work my way along the ridge and try and make it to the end. Now, we'll see how I go. It's going to be quite tricky, especially this getting past this first spur because it sticks out quite a long way and the wind's going from the northwest and blowing around and across it. So there's going to be an area of rotor and turbulence in the lean. That's sort of where you can see the shadow over there by those that clump of bushes, little trees. And so I've got a, that's going to be my first hurdles to get past that. And then as I go along the ridge, there's a number of bowls and spurs that I've got to get negotiate to get round. And each time I'm going to be trying to make the most out of the lift get as high as possible like the guy on the green glider there and then once I feel I've done got the best height I'll try and take a best line to get around the spur and onto the next bit of ridge and then again work my height back up again and do the same again and, and keep doing that as I go along the ridge. Once I'm in the air I'll have to judge whether it's actually safe to do that it might turn out that it's just not possible so we'll see. Pizza. Okay, first step I've just launched. So the first stage is to get some height. And I'm using this bit of slope down here that you can see that's a bit more into wind. You can see when I fly in this direction, I'm going a bit faster. And when I turn around, so into wind is more or less there. So how can I tell I'm into wind? What's the giveaway? Go on. That's because as I'm pointing out into wind, I've got no drift left or right. I can tell I'm just going forwards. In fact, I've got a slight drift to the right at the moment, so it's slightly more to my left. So when I point straight into wind, basically what I notice is I don't drift to left and right. So I think here I've, I feel like I've optimised my height quite well, and so I'm going to do my first push. But now as I know I'm, I've got some nice height and I'm pushing into wind, I'm going to use a little bit of speed bar. It's not necessary, it just helps. So I'm going to use a bit of speed bar. And what I'm doing is, because I know that even with these small slopes, because the air is so cold and dense, you can get some quite strong rotor off even these little spurs. So what I'm doing is, as I approach the spur, I'm keeping wide of it. I can definitely feel like my ground speed is slowing down. And I'm starting to feel like the air is a little lumpy. Can you see that? I've got some movement like that. But nothing too much. Yeah, a bit more now. Ah, here as I'm starting to really get more sinky air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move out and I'm judging if I don't like it. If I decide that it's not working, I haven't done the right line or it's not the right moment, then I'll turn around and run back. But you can see here as I come up to the, the spur how much the wind really accelerates around this corner. It can be really quite surprising because just back there I still had 15 to 18 k's into wind and then all of a sudden when I got near that corner my ground speed went down to just single figures. Okay so now I've made it round that corner you can see here now I'm going my penetration my ground speed is going back up again. So this bit of slope is more into wind again so what I'm doing again now is just making the most of this bit of slope where the lift is better. 
and your air is smoother. So again, yeah, I've gained some nice height on that spur. I think helped a bit by, by thermal. So I'm gonna try my next push. So yeah, I've got the next big spur sticking out in front of me. So again, and I know this spur is really big, so I'm gonna push out, give it a wide berth. And actually, as I'm quite luckily got a nice bit of height, I'm gonna use that to my advantage to push right forwards. There's no need for me to go down on the ridge and, and ridge saw. That's a mistake I quite often see pilots making, especially when they just get set in their mind of ridge sawing, is they stick to the ridge and actually I'd probably be lower and in some crappy air back there. And here by just making the most of my height and then cutting across the bowl, taking the, the optimum line, I've avoided all the crappy air and also, as well, actually get by luck, by a bit of luck, but also just following the lift. I've got a nice lifty line going out, so that's made my transition much easier. So now what I'm going to do is carry on all the way to the end of the ridge. 